Well, I'd say that's about it for summer. It's pretty chilly and really foggy out here in the mornings now, but I've still got a few ripe tomatoes clinging to the vine and someone asked for soup. So today, I'm gonna make a stupendous tomato bisque that everyone's gonna love. So let's get started. This is a really great recipe if you've got some nice ripe and sweet tomatoes, but the window for ripe tomatoes is pretty brief and the weather's usually very hot during that time, so soup is not usually the first thing that comes to mind. However, if you've canned some of your own tomatoes, they're gonna work just as well for this recipe. And if you wanna see how to can tomatoes, you're gonna wanna catch up with that video on the channel. Of course, any good quality canned tomato is going to work just as well. Now, let's get down to bisqueness. And the first thing I'm going to do is to peel these tomatoes. And to do that, I'm just going to drop them in some boiling water. I don't have to submerge them. I've just got about an inch of water here in this pan. And I'll kind of roll them around just for 30 seconds or a minute. And then the skins will get nice and loose and they'll peel right off of there. This is a good way to use up some of these big ol' uglies too. This one had a pretty severe ground strike and it's busted up a little, got a real nice bruise here. But we'll just peel that, cut away any damaged parts and the rest of this tomato is gonna work just fine in this recipe. All right, here we go, check this out. We'll just drop a couple in there. I'll give them 10 or 20 seconds on the side and we'll roll them over. And you'll see right away the skins begin to split and then they're going to loosen up and I'll be able to pull those right off of there. I'll just roll them around a couple of times. That one's good to go. And I'll get my big ugly in there. It's ugly, but that is a super sweet tomato. It's gonna be great in here. Now, just as soon as those tomatoes are cool enough to handle, you can take them out, pull those skins right off of there. And we'll core them. Cut off any weird little discolored bits. And now we'll just kind of cut these up into big chunks. Let's keep the measurements for this recipe very simple and we'll simply use one cup of vegetable or chicken broth for every one pound of tomatoes. I've got two pounds of tomatoes here, so I'm gonna be using two cups of vegetable broth today. And if you're using store-bought cans, very simply, Use two cans of whole peeled tomatoes to one can of broth and that's gonna get you there. Now let's put this together and this soup is so easy to do. Of course, it's not as easy as just heating up a can, but for the little bit of effort you put in here, the results are gonna be exponentially better. So I'm gonna start by sauteing some onions. Put in a couple of tablespoons of some good olive oil. And I've got a half cup of diced onions here, about half of a medium onion. I'm gonna saute these kind of medium low-ish, get them softened up and sweetened up. And for my onion haters out there, I'm sorry, but I just don't know a lot of savory dishes that don't begin by sauteing some onions. <laughs> I'm gonna go pretty slow with these onions today. Just get them nice and soft without charring the edges at all, and that'll keep them really, really sweet. All right, now we're looking good. So I'm gonna go in with my two cups of vegetable broth. And my two pounds 
of beautiful ripe tomatoes. Hit that with another pinch of salt. Just about a half teaspoon. Don't want to go too hard on this yet because there is some salt in the broth and I'm going to be cooking this down a little bit. I like a lot of fresh ground black pepper in here. That's entirely up to you how much you want to use. And to make that flavor a little more interesting than just plain tomato, I'm going to throw in a teaspoon of sweet paprika. I could use smoked paprika here, that'd be really interesting. Or you can just throw in a nice peeled roasted red pepper. That's really good too. Now let's get this up to temp. I want a nice low simmer going here. And now to make this bisque bisky, I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of rice. Now that's gonna help thicken this up a little, give it a really nice and smooth texture. It's gonna make this a little more hearty than a tomato soup and help that linger on the tongue just a little bit longer. So get that in there. Now I'll bring this back up to a low simmer and I'm gonna simmer this uncovered for 25 minutes until that rice gets really nice and tender. There we go. Now you can see the rice is really puffed up. Nice and soft now. So it's time to blend this. Whether you use a stick blender like this one or your stand-up blender, be really careful when you blend this. If you're using a stick blender like this, make sure the soup is in a container that's the right size and shape that you can get the entire head of this down below the surface of the soup. That'll help keep it from kicking a bunch of hot soup back at you. If you're using your stand-up blender, do this in small batches with the lid on because when you hit dough on that thing, the hot soup is going to expand and if you got too much in there, it's going to blow the lid off. It's going to get all over the place and it could be a very bad situation for you. The rice thickened this up just right. It is nice and smooth and silky now and this is essentially done. But I am gonna throw in some fresh herbs here just to give it a little more brightness. So I've got a little handful of some fine cut basil out of the garden. You can just toss it in or blend it in and it's gonna be just fine. I like the contrast of those little green bits in there. And use whatever herbs you like here or none at all. And there is a beautiful tomato bisque. But aren't bisques supposed to be creamy? Well, most of the time they are, and most people like them that way. And to tell you the truth, I like them that way as well. So if you're not lactose intolerant, here's what you're going to do. Bring that back up to a simmer, get it nice and hot, and then kill the heat or take it off the burner. Now pour in about a quarter cup of heavy cream. You can use more or less depending on how you like it. And the reason that I want to stir in the cream with this off the heat is that if this comes up to a boil after the cream's in there, it could break that cream, meaning the milk fats and the milk solids come apart and all the tomato paste in the world is not going to put those back together and you're going to end up with kind of a curdled looking bisque rather than something with a nice creamy and consistent consistency. Let's see how we did. Check out that bite. Wow. <laughs> well, the first thing that's going to hit you if you're using vine ripe tomatoes is the intensity of the tomato flavor. It is just extremely bright, super vibrant, and it just kind of tastes like concentrated summertime. And then there's enough richness and creaminess from the cream and the rice that this is actually going to feel kind of hearty on a chilly day. 
this is such an easy and delicious soup to make, but it is missing one thing. Ooh, check out that bite. <laughs> Oh yeah! Now that is a 10! <laughs> Thanks for watching!